Here we've made a unique technology. The gas comes in here, and at a certain temperature, in this case you'll see 300 degrees, the gas gives only platinum. That is, only the platinum complex decays. And this is how I got many catalysts with unique properties. This is the size of nanoparticles 60 nanometers big. But the gas keeps going. And here at a different temperature I get a different size. My first experiments show that the worst thing for platinum catalysts... What do we have in the oil industry? Sulfur. They're poisoned by sulfur. It's so often the case that while refining oil we have to stop the process and introduce catalysts to refine completely. There are six platinum producers. They extract their concentrates and transfer them to a single plant. Usually, if they produce concentrates of platinum metals, it takes eight months to refine them. Take a look. They need to carry out 86 operations to extract platinum, palladium, 86 chemical operations. They're described here. To extract metals from them, 8 months. I do it in 4 hours. I'll take a new flask. Here I'll pour this catalyst and before your very eyes we'll coat it in platinum. Whichever country receives this technology will take first place in the world in the production of catalysts for the oil and automobile industry. We carried out an enormous investigation and I'll show you the parameters of the exhaust gases made with these catalysts. That's why we get speed, price and quality. This seems impossible, which is why I'll demonstrate today. I'll give you the material we'll coat so that you can take it with you for analysis. Here we have five scales of deposited platinum. The catalyst is coated. If you compare the color, you'll see here it's more coated. You can see that it's already black. These are 80 nanometer particles. And further growth will lead to this. Look how beautiful this is. Black. Why black? Because it's 60, 70 nanometers. See? Black. And as soon as it grows bigger, we already see the metal. That is, we visually see what nano is. It's incredible how we can visually observe the whole process of particle formation. Here you can see absolutely pure metallic platinum. You can pour from it. Or you can pour from the previous experiments.
It's the same thing. You see the same phenomenon. Here it grows into metallic platinum. It's coated there. You can take it with you for analysis. Is this also platinum? Yes, it's platinum. I want to show you how this technology was created. When I got the gas, I filled this flask with gas. There's one temperature here and another here. These are all different temperatures. I waited a few hours and then opened it and saw that the metal built up here. I broke the flask, took the produced metal, submitted it for analysis and saw that it was osmium. Then came the next stage. There's a distinct gas injected into each of these flasks. For example, palladium. Here are my catalysts, which I received in this manner. Very good. It's a special story. I mean the separation of hydrogen isotopes. This is a very useful technology for China. It's a catalyst with which you can divide hydrogen isotopes. Deuterium, tritium. This is a heavy water reactor. It has an enormous problem. Pollution of deuterium water, of heavy water with tritium. But I've solved this problem. The water passes through this catalyst and I extract tritium from it. And it goes back to the head. I'll show you here. I took our usual gas, CH4, methane. I passed it through the catalyst. And in the cold states, I got ethylene. This is ethane, and this is ethylene. I'll show you the dynamics. There's no ethylene here. Take a look. Here's the peak of our ethylene. Here, the peak barely manifests itself. And here you can see how much it grew. There. Ethylene. Now see how much the quantity of ethylene increased, and how the amount of ethylene was reduced. Here's the ethylene, and here you see the ethylene was reduced to a third. I already told you what prospects this technology opens up in gaseous production of the metallic platinum group. Attention! Before your very eyes, I got graphene. You see the particles. Attention, attention. This is called a chain reaction. Thank you. You can take this with you for analysis.
This is our graphene. This is all made in American universities. It wants to curl up into a tube. This was done in American universities in 2001. I warmed it up in iron tubes and got nanotubes. Because at that time, the whole world was fascinated with nanocarbon nanotubes. But this is in 1997, in our Institute of Criminology. In 1997, take a look, nanotubes obtained from these graphene. And now look closely. We're now going to discuss how it created the industrial production of this material. And I want you to see this. <coughs> but we'll demonstrate outdoors. We'll run the process that I showed you in the spoon on the plate. And you'll see that in a few minutes, we'll make a pile of graphene. You should conduct this experiment in China. I'll give you our special capsules. You can take some animals and infect them with intestinal viruses, bacteria. Then give them our capsule. And you will cure them instantly. Once, one of our government organs gave me the task of creating a substance with the help of which it would be possible to identify a person. Here there are 940 nanometers in the infrared region. This is my monograph on the subject. Anti-Stokes. Yttrium, Lutetium, only China produces these metals. They used to be made in Kyrgyzstan as well. You can douse this with acids, any acids, alkalis. Okay, thank you very much. This is how we begin.